Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures and welcome to the first in our new video series and video playlist for the TradeStation platform. So if you're familiar with our other trading platform playlists and technical guides, we're going to start with the easiest features of the platform and work our way up from there to more advanced features. So in today's video, we're just going to be covering how to open charts and if you're a futures trader, how to apply futures trading symbols onto a chart. So as you can see, we're currently on the TradeStation Today workspace. I do have a new blank workspace down here and let's proceed to opening up a chart. So the easiest way probably is actually through this little app drop down menu. I already have it broken down right here and expanded, but you'll notice in the top left hand corner here, you'll see there's something a trade tab right to the left of that trade tab on the default home space, you will see something called apps. Uh, you can actually see it right here. You can just hover over this and or left click it and it'll drop down this little uh, this little apps menu. And this is pretty much your method of opening up a app or you can call it a widget or chart dome, whatever the case is on this platform. So let's go back to my untitled workspace here. And you'll see if we're looking to open up a chart, there's the chart analysis app. If we click on that, that should open up a chart for us. So the other way of doing so is simply by, well, let's close this out first. You can just go up to file on the top left hand corner, click on new application, and then go to chart analysis. As you can see, all the apps or applications in here are the same one within the apps tab. So this is just another way of doing so. The apps tab is a little bit quicker, but either way will do. So as you can see here, and by default, your chart won't be like this. I actually have already opened up a chart and applied a symbol to it. As you can see, I am working with the E-mini S&P 500 futures contract on there. So by default, there will probably be some sort of stock on your chart here. And you'll see it up here in the top left hand corner. Now, if you are a futures trader or Whatever the case may be, obviously there's different asset classes on this platform. If you are a customer of Optimus or you plan on being a customer of Optimus and you do plan on using TradeStation, are using TradeStation and you wanna trade futures, you'll need to go ahead and actually manually add the symbols you wanna trade. Otherwise, if you do search for through here, let's say for example, I just type in ES, you're probably gonna only get stocks here. So just keep that in mind. Now, that being said, to add a symbol, whether it be futures, stocks, Forex, options, whatever the case is, you'll need to go to data right here. This is in the upper right hand corner or towards the upper right hand corner of your chart. You can also right click directly on your chart and just click on data. And then you'll click, need to click on add symbol. This is the same thing up here. It's a little hashtag or a pound sign and then just click on add symbol. Now, I already have at ES typed in. So first up, you'll probably need to click look up here. And you can see on the far left hand side, this column contains all your different asset classes. So like I said, it, it doesn't really matter what asset class you are trading. They are all available on TradeStation and you'll just need to use this symbol lookup guide just to find what you're trading. So if you know a general description, maybe like, I don't know, the NASDAQ, you could probably type in NASDAQ here or we're talking about NASDAQ futures, obviously, or you can use the root. So if I know NASDAQ futures, I could just type in NQ or ENQ. If I know the e mini S&P 500 symbol, I can type in ES there. If you don't know it, you can just kind of type in the description and you should be able to get that. So for our route, I believe it should be NQ. So if we're going to do the NASDAQ, let's click on lookup. And yes, as you can see, this is the e mini NASDAQ that we're after. This actually isn't the right contract month, though, at the time I'm making this video. It likely should be in September. Now, the good thing about this platform is they do contain the continuous contracts or pretty much contracts that will automatically roll over for you. This is designated by an at symbol. So you'll see at NQ represents the E-mini NASDAQ 100. And of course, this is continuous. So you don't have to switch contract months every every month. But um, if you are interested in trading a specific contract month, you can just go ahead and pick that out there. So once we do have our contract selected, we can click on OK. And then you'll see here, it just says N at NQ. And then we can go ahead and click plot. Now, 
I actually, and there was no problems here and it went fine because I'm using the same ads, asset class. Both of these were futures contracts. But for example, when I did start off with my stock, that stock here on this chart, I did run into an issue where it said something along the lines of you can't have two or you can't plot a symbol onto this existing chart with, it didn't say asset classes, but I think they considered it two different intervals. That's okay. All I needed to do was search here in the top left for my symbol. So in this case, it was at NQ. Previously, I ran into the issue with the ES. So all I would need to do was type in at ES here. Nothing will pop up. That's okay. If you just press enter in there manually, it'll automatically search up. Obviously, and as you can see right here, I do have both symbols on my chart. So it's not going to pop anything up for me right now. But just keep in mind, I just had to search through there in the top left. Now, also, it is worth mentioning if you did mess anything up as far as just your symbol or whatever the case may be, your time interval on there, you can always come back to your data right here, click on edit symbol, and then open up and re-customize that symbol. And as you can see here, this is where you're going to change like your tick data, volume, minute, daily, time intervals, and then the type of chart and much more on the side here. So that's going to about wrap it up for this video. Just again, just wanted to focus on op just specifically opening up charts. We're going to go into more in-depth features on this platform, things like drawing tools, different studies, different chart styles, time intervals, things like that. I'll show you how to trade from the chart. But for now, let's just stick with the basis. And we just wanted to show you how to open up a chart and apply a futures contract for it. So we hope this video helped. Um, if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more TradeStation content. We do post our podcast if you want to listen to that. It's in the Optimus Futures podcast playlist. Um, also listen to the Matt Z Show. Matt is always giving out great tips on trading psychology, tips, advice, strategies, things like that. And as always, once again, thanks for watching.